Hello bar haters and welcome to another Find Me Hate Bars Let's Play. I'm Ben and this is more Fire Emblem. Last time we uh as I readjust here, last time we uh we lost another one of our people, because I'm an idiot and that's what I do. I let my people die, but we're still doing alright. Yep, Kent is now dead. As is, you know. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to keep track of the body count from week to week. Um, because we still have most of our people, but we lost Kent, we lost Rebecca way earlier, and we lost Dorcas a couple parts back. So, we're now sitting at here, but that's fine, that's fine. Um, what we need to do, though, is we need to figure out who is coming with us into this next area. As you can see, check the map. There's a lot of people here. Got mostly Dark Mages down there, so I'm definitely... Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to bring Lucius with me on this one. I'll bring Lucius and have him go over here. I'm going to have... We need a couple of Lancers. You know what? Oswald will be perfect for this side. We can get Oswald down there and then get someone else to come over and deal with this. Then we can have Lucius and uh, Florina... Maybe a couple... Who, who's got high resistance? I'm going to need someone to go else to go with them. So. Oh. What? I didn't know I could do that. Has that always been the case? Oh, God fucking... I just realized the whole reason Kent died last time was because I wanted to go to a shop and buy some equipment. I hate myself. I'm the dumbest person ever in the history of anything. I didn't know you could use shops from the check map screen, or maybe it's just that one. I'm gonna have to go back and re-examine re that now, because if I'd known that, I would have freaking just bought stuff before I left. Alright, um... No matter, let's get let's let's get all this extra stuff out of there. That hammer can go in there. <clears throat> I say, who here even needs stuff? Um, you need to give your thing up. You got an iron lance and a slim lance that are still in decent condition, so you're not gonna need much. You're still good. Um, you've got uh, you got iron as well as steel, so you're actually okay for now. You might need an extra. You might need an extra lance, actually. <clears throat> Bow, sword, you're good on that. You're good on everything. You're more than good. You're good. You're good. You will actually put that in there for now. Actually, Hero's Crest as well can go in there. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. 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 Okay, so I might buy an extra sword and an extra lance. What? Oh! Okay, I'm not as stupid as I thought. It just shows you things. I mean, I still, if I had known that, I would have, you know, been able to do things better. Alright. And then this will show me what weapons they have, or items they have. You know, fire, thunder, lightning, flux. The thunder might be you worth getting. Alright. Anyway. Back to my units. Now that I have these guys all available, so Florina and Lucius and Oswald, I think I've already established, are coming. We'll also need a good healer, I think, since we're in close, closer quarters this time. Sarah might be more worth it to bring. HP 17 to... what is Priscilla? It's probably more... HP... ooh, HP 16. Um... Yeah, I think I'll bring Sarah with us. Guy. I always like having Guy around. It's really powerful. Alright. So we need someone for the lower area in that case. As I start to think about think about who'd be best to bring. <coughs> oh wow. 
I think Raven's gonna get a start here as well, because he could be really useful for, uh... What's his resistance, actually? Ooh, not as great. What's Guy's resistance? Did anyone here have a decent resistance? No one here actually has a very high resistance. Which is a bit of a pro- I might have to send Marcus to go deal with those guys. Yeah, actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. He's gonna help him. He's gonna help out, and he's gonna kill most of those. Um... Irk's gonna go as well. Anyone else have any resistance whatsoever? Other than Lynn and Hector? I could always send Canis. Actually, do I want to send Canis out instead of Irk? Irk's got a 7 magic. He's got a 10 magic. I might send them both, actually. Ooh. Or maybe I won't. Um. Actually, Will, Will's gonna go out. I think I'm gonna send Canis instead of Irk. Just because Urk will be at a disadvantage if the uh, Dark Mages get him too close. Now, I have one last thing and I need to send... Lowen or Sane? I think I'm going to send Lowen. Um... Lowen's at the Horse Slayer, though. That's a problem. Although, do I have it? Spending a lot of time getting set up here. Um... Put the jab on in there for now. Okay, yeah, definitely. This is going to be more worth it, I think. Actually, no. I'll... Horse Slayer. I don't need the Horse Slayer right now, anyway, so the Javelin's going to come back out. And then I have an extra Iron Lance if I need it. Right. I think that's going to do it. And then Lowen's going to be the one that goes. Lo and behold, will go and make his start. <laughs> Alright, and in that case... Another save state, just in case something happens to the recording. And I think with that, we're good. Uh, well, wait, no, we're not quite good yet. We're gonna... We're gonna need to... We're gonna, ah, we're gonna need to figure this out. So, Oswin, I think I'm... Ooh, nope, hold on. Formation. Oswin is gonna need to go down here. And send Lowen down here. For... Ooh! No! Dang it. Uh, go out here. Marcus is gonna go and take the front over there. I think I established that. So who else is gonna go and deal with... I think I might send, um, Connus down as well. That might be the most useful thing to do. Yeah, okay. And then Connus can go down there. And then as for these guys... I'm going to keep Sarah, I think, in the middle. And I'm going to have Ellawood um, act as kind of a go-between wherever he's needed after the first round. But Oswin's going to go straight here and then just hold position. Um, as for Lowen, he's going to go down there and he's going to hold position as well. Right here, probably. Then I'm going to get Will behind him and I'm going to keep Raven and Guy just in case he starts to get overwhelmed. I can move him back and move one of them in. So, that's going to be the strategy. That's going to be the basic strategy. And, um, we're ready to go. Atlantis is level 9. Well, let's deploy him. Apparently, um, what's his nuts is sick. Guy. Yep, armory shop. I think I'm gonna wait till later in the battle to see if I need... Cause I don't have I don't have much to buy more than just two weapons anyway, so I'm gonna have to wait until the end of the battle and see who's gonna need it the most. And I can always do like little micromanaging of weapons if I need to. So first things first. All right, Marcus can then come down and finish him up. I'm gonna use a sword. That's gonna give him the highest speed. Yep. Connus, you're going to go down as well. Florina, I'll leave you out here for the minute. I also think that someone else... I always get the feeling that someone else is going to show up and reinforce... I know there's reinforcements that come out of here. Specifically, these two spots right there are going to get reinforcements. And I think this is going to get reinforcements as well. For some reason, I feel like there's going to be reinforcements from up here, even though I know there's not going to be. Alright, so go on, Oswin. You go ahead... Oswin shouldn't even need any reinforcements. He's fairly tough. 
Yeah, it doesn't even matter. I'll, I'll do this just to keep him from, uh, just to make sure his hit chance is high. And if he can, I don't think he's going to get a chance to get two attacks ever, but he might have a chance to mitigate two attacks. As for Lowen, Lowen can come down here. He should be okay for the first round. Um, and then, oh, he should be golden. Then Will can come down and join. Raven can come in as well. Guy can uh, reinforce there. I'm actually going to move Elliot over here. I think that would be the most practical thing for right now. And of course Sarah is going to go wherever she's needed. Probably after the first round. And he's going to die. Shouldn't even be able to do much of anything. Like I said, I'm trying to skip past a lot of these things just to keep the episodes short. So if you don't remember what happened, because I just realized I forgot to do a recap, we um, we booked passage to the Dread Isle from a pirate who is legitimately insane. Who only did it because I want a challenge. Let's challenge myself here in my old age. Alright, um, hold on. Let's have Con Yeah, let's have Connus kill this guy, because he can. And flux the shit out of this guy. Boom! Dead. How many of these guys can actually get up there? Alright, so only one of these people should be able to attack Florina. So, depending on how much damage this does... Hmm. That's a tough one. Because that means if I don't kill all these guys, then one of them could still theoretically kill her. I'm going to hold off on her then. I think I'm going to hold off on that. Um, instead, down here, to do things like... Yep, I'm going to have Marcus kill off one. That should be fine. Then, send Ellawood to rape here this guy. And one shot, one kill. And Lucius should be... There we go, Lucius can do damage to this guy and Florina can finish him off. Actually, Farina can just attack from back here, can't she? Well, there we go. Uh, ooh, but if that, she might miss. He's not gonna kill her, so... Might as well try, yep. And he goes down, Farina levels up. Awesome. Actually, not awesome, that was, that was not a great level up. Oh well, it is it is what it is, I guess. And Oslin's just gonna hold the line right here. Oh shit, I just realized, I think one of these guys has a Lance Reaper. Nope, a longsword, which is only effective. At, I thought one of these guys had something that was effective against um against Oslin, but I don't think they. I guess they don't. Oh, there's the lance reaver. Okay, there's the lance reaver. So I don't even have an axe to. Well, Marcus has an axe. Marcus has an axe and can take it down, but I'm not bringing Marcus back over. I'm just gonna go sword on sword action. We're gonna touch swords. Um. That should be okay. That's okay, right? It's fine if you're friends, I think. That's what I hear. That's what I've been told. Thank you, Will. I didn't know what I was going to do if you missed that. Um, as for this guy, can Raven actually... Interesting. Raven could kill him. Although, what... How much damage is this guy going to do? Very, very important. Attack of 14. And defense of five, so he's gonna do nine damage. And what's the speed for? Actually, he's probably not gonna outspeed me. If anything, I'd oh a hell no. So he's gonna take nine damage from that, and that's gonna be in addition to the. That's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. Unless, what's his defense? Seven. And there's a chance with a killing edge. Yeah, Iron Sword isn't going to do it anyway. Steel Sword... We run the ri- You know, I'm going to use Steel Sword because there's a chance that he might miss more so than with the Killing Edge. He didn't. And then we're going to have... Okay, then I don't know what- I, I was worried about nothing, it seems. A gem... From this point, it just I just have to have Lowen 
deal with this guy. Because I don't think he even has a ranged weapon. I've met, I know he doesn't have a ranged weapon. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I keep speculating on things that I know for a fact. It seems like this is going a lot smoother than it even normally does. Even when I'm safe scumming, it's going. Maybe that's partly because I'm not safe scumming because I'm not just charging in and letting my guys get killed because I don't want them to get killed. Um, Farina, he's the only one who get took damage from there. Um, you know she's gonna wait. None of these guys really took that much damage. Actually, Guy took some damage, didn't he? So, but I couldn't get her to Guy anyway, so I guess I'm just gonna have to wait till next time. Ooh, losers are starting to get her. Get a little bit hurt. How much damage will he take if I do this? Just four. Actually, he won't take any because I'll kill him before he de before he takes damage. Um. That's for this guy. Yep, that'll do it. Guiding Ring! Ah! That's a promotion item for the mages. I think I talked about those last part. Um, each type of unit has a different promotion item. The Guiding Ring promotes, promotes the different magic units. Which... Yeah, okay. Um, ooh. Do we want to try and for, go for the... I'll tell you who's gonna try and go for the boss, Marcus. And then we're just gonna keep um, these two back here. Connus and Lucius will reinforce. I know I'm overusing Marcus. I know I'm gonna regret it later, but I don't care. I need to freaking survive this. I'm not used to doing this without, you know, going back and restarting when I fuck up, which is probably my own fault, but never mind. Ooh, ooh, what's he? What's he? What's he? What's he? Armor Slayer. Okay. I, I was right. I knew that was going to happen eventually. I don't think... I still don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, but... Yeah, we're going to wait and see what happens this round. I also don't think he, can't get, he can get down to low one anyway, so... What's this guy have? What's this guy have? Iron Sword. Nothing. Nothing impressive. Lance Reaver. Send the pure water to Merlinus. And... This side's a bit more hairy right now. If for no other reason that, you know, Guy and uh, Oswin are about to probably take some damage. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. If I do that, Killing Edge. That'll only hit him once? Oh, it's a... Okay. Dang it, Killing Edge. Bring back the Killing Edge. There's a chance I'm going to kill this guy in one hit, and I think I'm going to go for that. Either way, I'm only going to take two damage from him, yeah. Two damage, that's barely anything. And then I'll move Raven up just to tank. Because neither of these guys are going to do that much damage to him. He'll do seven, he might... He'll do eight, if either of them... And only one of them will be able to attack him, so... I'm also going to move Will up here... Just because I feel like Oswin might need the backup in a second. Please do not kill Oswin. Please, I'm begging you. He's the only knight tank we're gonna get. We get one knight and we'll get um our general from the prologue back later. Um which what is even is his name? I can't remember now. Um oh they didn't even go after Oswin. They're just gonna let this guy kill him, I guess. Is that the Boss? Oh no, that's um, that's another guy. Well, boss is about to go down anyway. Ooh, there we go. That's better. That's so much better. If he crits, I might be in trouble. He crit, didn't he? Oh no! God damn it, game! There was a ten percent chance, and he. I'm really angry about that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have 
you get knights to spare. Or you get cavaliers to spare. But I've also already lost Kent. <clears throat> what the shit is with this guy? Fucking die, you motherfucker. I'll bring her over here because I'm going to need her in a second. Raven, I'm going to drop... I thought this side was going to be in trouble. Nope, turns out the other fucking side. God damn it, why did he have to crit? If he hadn't crit, I'd be golden. I would be in no trouble whatsoever. Alright, let's start moving these guys over, because I don't... I don't believe they spawn anymore from that side, but they might. I'll tell you what, if I keep losing people at this rate, I, I definitely will make it all the way to the end. <clears throat> or I, I will, but I won't, I'll only have like, I don't know, eight or nine people. Well, probably, I'll, I'll say this, I'll have probably seven or eight people plus the heroes. And I don't know if that'll be enough to defeat the final boss. Also, I have to start looking at the fact that if I do get to the final boss, and any of my heroes die, that's where the run's gonna end. Which I've had happen in the past. But let's let's not get too over let's not get too hasty here on trying to anticipate things. I mean the fact that neither of these guys have Nosferatu is probably what's gonna save me now. Yeah, that'll work. Can he even make it up there? Okay, he, as of right now, he cannot attack any of my people. So if he wants to just chill down there, I'm just going to let him chill down there. Um, yeah, I would call that good. Meanwhile, Loen, I'll tell you what I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy a steel sword. I'm going to buy a steel lance. And, you know, the other thing that sucks is all the stuff that Merlin has had. Anything useful that Mer Merlin has had is gone now, too. Because you don't just get the items when they die. Anything else here? Actually, how much damage would Lucius do against him? I'm, I'm thinking things I shouldn't right now. I'm, think, I'm having ideas that are bad. Like that. That's... Nope, 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 nope. Don't, don't even think about doing that, Ben. Problem is the high crit rate on that fucking thing. Negate and negates enemy resistance. Crit 20 negates enemy resistance. That's. Is he just a basic shaman? Yeah, he's just a basic shaman. Okay, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Fuck Nugget. I forgot that that was gonna happen. And they fucking gotta move- they just spawned! Alright. Loen, your services are needed again. Also, what do these guys have? Anything bad? Slim sword, iron sword, steel sword, flux. How far can he get? He could theoretically go after Loen. But Loen's pretty tanked up right now, so we should be okay. Um, it doesn't matter where I send him either, it does it. I'll tell you what, I'll move Lucius back in to, to assist. And am I gonna need... Okay, that should be fine. How is he looking? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna move him up, because he'll only be able to attack... Only one of them will be able to attack me anyway. Steel sword, get that equipped. And then next turn I'll have Oswin down, so we can do that. Alright, so let's see how this, this plays out. Uh, Florina, what do I want to have you do? Leave him alone, Ben. Don't do it. Don't go after him. Just leave him be. Leave him be. Alright, nobody died. Ah, oh, fuck my ass. More of them fucking showed up. 
I got cocky, thought I was done. I'm not, you're not done, Ben. You are not done until they're all, until the last round. You, you know what, until freaking Sarah can get to you, you just wait back here, because there's no one I'm going to put you in a fight. You have an iron sword. You have an iron sword. You have an iron sword. Steel lance. I don't want to. I don't want to get too overconfident about being able to take their weapons, dependent upon, dependent upon what they have. Lucius should be able to kill this guy in okay, not one hit, but we'll go down pretty quick though. Cause then, yep, that'll finish off the sword guy, and I can just actually I'm just send Connus back over here to deal with this. Leave the guy over there be. Move the rest of your troops back to help. That, I think, is the moral of this. Uh, although, actually, what is the move rate on this? Okay, they can't even get to me. And same on this side, I think. And these guys won't be able to get further than the plank. Uh, the planks they set up this time. So, move them up. Will can go down here. Actually, no. You know what? Will can go over here and, um... Iron Bow give him two attacks. No, might as well use Steel then, just to... Oh, good, it missed. Can he... I was worried he might be able to go off to Connus there, but nope, apparently not. Um... Ella can go up here. Sarah can get over. Yep, he's dead. Uh, who, is there anyone here who really needs it bad? Alright, what's her... And I'm not going to be able to get her anyway, am I? Alright, you know what? Have him fall back. As a lance, that's going to cause problems. Does he have a vulnerable? He does. I'm going to use it just in case she decides to go after him. You know what else I should have done? I should have put the killing edge. That would have been probably kind of useful. Uh, any of these guys have anything bad, like Lance Reaver or anything? Nope. These guys aren't going to get up. Alright, so... As for these guys... Sarah needs to go way up here. I don't actually know who she's going to attack with that fucking thing. That's the problem. Because she can actually get over the edge of the ship, and there's nowhere... Well, can Connors do any damage? Oh! And is that a crit? Is that a crit? I think it was a crit. I think it was a crit. Boom! Well, there's one problem solved. Now, she can only go after Guy. I mean, admittedly, I'm not even really comfortable with that. Because what is she using? Oh, Slim Lance. Oh, that's not a that's not a threat. All right. Uh, as for the rest of these guys, can any of them? I'm gonna send Lowen. You know, I'm gonna send Lowen down to deal with this. He should be. I say should be. He should be fine by himself. This guy can't do anything, and I don't think anyone else has anything capable of dealing with him either. So I'm gonna. Oh, there's one more turn, isn't there? Fuck. This is only turn 10. We have one more turn after this. Alright. Let's call this good just for now. Let's see. Let's see where they go after this. Did anyone else spawn? Anything else spawn? Alright. Nope. We just gotta deal with these guys. Which Raven should be able to do quite well. I'm actually going to let Will kill the, uh, freaking... that thing. And then, will Raven be able to do much damage to this guy? I assume so. Oh yeah, quite a bit. Ooh, he also took quite a bit. Um, Lorena, why don't you go help with your javelin? Thank you. We'll just have you do that, and I'm not going to even bother trying to kill this guy as well. <sighs> Alright, um... Yeah, he's not gonna be able to get there. Let's end the turn, let's finish off this combat. 
That was quite a good level up. So Osman's still alive. I still have one good unit. Hey, they're back. They're back. Everything's good. Everyone's fine. Yeah, yeah, go kill him. Go kill the, the shaman bad guy that I couldn't kill and who murdered my... Alright, so, yep, we're just going to keep going. And Indian's going to come back out. Oh, oh, look at that. She has amnesia. That's convenient. Although, admittedly, though characters normally have amnesia so they forget, you know, what their role was in prior games or allow them to reset, in this case, it was because, you know, things happened in Indian on the Island to make her... She's not supposed to go back. She was she was hushed, she was was rushed off the island to protect her and told, don't come back, I'll be fine. And so now she's, uh, now she's gonna go back. Yep. And we're gonna... Yep, little backstory there, that, that part of the prequel. Um, again, it only happened in one mission. We saw them for one mission, and they were going after Nils and Ninian, and that was it. Something in the air that hits in their involvement, almost like we've seen people working for them several and have seen them be mentioned several times. So we get dropped off on the island, and they say they'll bring you come back in two weeks. And and we get a new unit, Dart, a pirate, who will basically be replacing Dorcas. I actually like Dart better than either Dorcas or Bartre. Um, he's got a decent speed. His defense isn't great, but he's got a decent speed, and he's an axe wielder, so <laughs> he actually works re fairly well against lance units. And now we need to go uh, and find our way to Dragon's Gate. I'm trying to remember what we need to do to recruit the unit in the next level, which I'm not going to do right now. But when we get to that... Oh, and here we go. This is what happens if Marcus dies at any point. <clears throat> it's just, you know... So what happens in, is he doesn't actually die because... And the reason, the reason they keep him alive is not because, oh, he's necessarily important for... Um, the story, or because we need him around, even though we do. Um, they probably could have worked around that. The, the problem is, this game's actually a prequel. Technically. This game's actually a prequel. Uh, the game is prequel 2 was the game right before this, which involved Roy. Uh, which is Roy is Elliewood's son. And there's a game about Roy for the Game Boy Advance, only released in Japan, which depresses me. But I have played it, uh, via emulator with a translation patch. And, again, it, you know, I, I love the Fire Emblem games in general. It plays just like that. It plays just like this game. And, uh... Marcus is in that. Marcus is in that game, so lore-wise, he's still supposed to be alive at that point. So if he dies here... If he, die, if he dies in the, the other one, the other one I mentioned, he's just dead. In this one, he's just wounded. So he can still come... Yeah. So he can still hang around and he can still do things. So we'll save the pirate ship, and we'll see what the story is for next time. Arrived in Shore of Valor, got Ninian, and now we are in the tree. We are in the island, hiding in the trees. Oh, what's this? Marquis Ferai shows his face for the first time. <clears throat> oh no, dragons! Because it's always... Actually, it's not always dragons, but it's usually dragons! Yep, and this is where we find out that the Marquis Fair Eye wasn't actually going to join. He wanted to stop this whole thing before it spiraled out of control and um, didn't do a good job on that note. And I guess we can't fault him. He at least tried. Oh no, he got stabbed by... Oh, wait, Nurgle stabbed him? I thought it was Ephidel who stabbed him. And we find out that Ephidel is something called a morph. They're basically... They're basically, um... Golems. Um, they're, they're golems with, like, intelligence and whatever. 
Androids, I guess, would almost be a better word. They're, they're like magical androids. Similar to uh, androids, you know, 17 and 18 in Dragon Ball Z. Now Fidel is going to be going after us. We don't see him till the next level, though. Not, not this one coming up, but the one after that. I probably should have mentioned this is not the run-through to watch if you want to get a good hold on the story, because I'm mostly going to be skipping it and explaining it in chunks. Oh look, it's Layla, the girl from before. She seems in good health. Everything looks fine. Wait, death? Death probably isn't good. Neither is that. <laughs> oh, poor Matthew. Because Matthew's the one that's going to end up finding her dead body here in a second. Also, if you hate Jafar for k killing, you know, a friendly NPC, don't. He actually, he actually gets fleshed out later, and believe it or not, will join our party. If I play my cards right, I, I think, not for, it won't be for quite a while, but he will eventually join us if I remember how to make it happen. And... FYI, since we know Layla's dead, that's just her body who's been that's been strung up to look like it's still alive. In a cruel twist of fate. And poor Matthew. Skip all this because I wanna. I wanted to wrap this up like five minutes ago, but that didn't happen. And she gets grabbed from behind again. This is like the third time that's happened because it happened in the pre prologue as well. Yep, so we let her go because we're both to say. So that's the end of this chapter. And uh, next time, I'll kind of show you the map we're dealing with. It's going to be on an island here. There are bridges. There is Fog of War has returned. And uh, we need to find our way along these bridges. And Uhai is down here in the thicket. Uh, also, we're going to get another Pegasus. We're going to get Dart. We're going to get another Pegasus Knight, I believe. And, yep. That's uh, that's the next part. So, yeah, with that, I guess we're going to call it here. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I was Ben, and this was Fire Emblem. See you next time, everyone.